What you building, Clark, ma'am? Um, I'm building a little machine. Do you mind if I do the intro to this video while you're doing that? Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a follow-up on yesterday's video, at least the first one of the two, and that was the one where I compared LEGO cannons. I grew up my entire life only experiencing non-firing cannons, and a lot of people out there grew up only experiencing firing cannons. So today I wanted to test that theory a little bit further, or at least experiment in it, and try out the other set that Pops gave us in the mail. This is LEGO System Set 6266 from Imperial Guards. This is titled Cannon Cove. How appropriate is that? That got Clark Man's attention too. Clark Man in the house. Everybody's like, yes, Clark Man's in the video. Thank you, buddy. All right, so this set. We got this little bunker here. We've got some mini fingers with this. We've got a pirate. we got a boat. But most importantly, there's a cannon in there. And I'm curious because this set came out in 1993 from what I researched. I'm curious if this is a firing or non-firing cannon. And you say, let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> let's take a look and solve this mystery once and for all. Blanky shares to solve the mystery too. Hi, guys. Oh, Blanky's in the house. Too. He's gonna be helping us solve this mystery. Not really a mystery. I'm just kind of curious. I almost freaked out I was like, oh my god, this is sealed. No way pops. Luckily, no it's been open. <laughs> it's been open on this side All right, Clark and Blanky. Let's open this up and see what we have going on here pirate! It is another pirate set. Yay! You're starting to like these aren't you? Pirate. Oh, are we gonna get into this? I think we probably Blanky's will first right there. Let's take a look sit right there. Okay watch. Dump everything out. Where's the pirate? Let's take a look at this cannon. There it is, guys. This is a non-firing Lego cannon. That again proves the theory that I read online that 1989 in the United States was the only year you could get firing cannons until very recently. A lot of people are saying in the modern days, Lego has gone back to the firing cannons. I just remember that I had a pirate set. I'm just gonna stand on this rolling chair, which is always a terrible idea. Right back there, I've got a pirate set. Let's dig this one out. I know this video is not about this, but it's kind of related, I'd say. Whoa, as I'm turning here, here it is. That to me does look like a firing cannon. I want to open this up and find out for sure. I want to say this set is from maybe 2015 or so without looking it up. Let's see. Yep, that is a firing cannon that's in here. I did not remember even having this. These are the ones that I remember from my childhood. It was just these very standard ones. I definitely think that these ones are an upgrade and I love that dark gray color with kind of metallic sheen to it. That looks fantastic. In my cannon video yesterday, I mentioned that in 1989, that was the only year you could get the old fire cannons, then they went to these ones. Someone told me, I think it was like the mid-2000s, they went back to the firing ones again. So apparently people's eyes are less susceptible to getting poked out in the United States um, in the late 2000s and modern days. Speaking of comments, I actually think I have more cannons than what I even thought. Someone told me that Metalbeard's Duel has firing cannons too. So all my firing cannons have been up here all the time. Didn't even realize it. I am a little disappointed that I grew up without them. As I always say in this channel, it's never too late to relive your childhood. And if you missed out on something, as an adult, you have even more of a chance to go get it because of sites like eBay and BrickLink and stuff like that. So make it happen, guys. If there's something that you didn't have, go get it. Relive your childhood. Or if you're four years old, just live it for the first time. And let's see what's going on over here. Is this the no instruction build here, Clark Man? Yeah. Dude, while you're working on that, let me become a nerd for a second here. The Maniac Collector's Guide. If you guys love early 90s Lego, this is the spot for you. I had this set right here. I should try rebuilding that. That's the Solar Snooper. I didn't know the name of it, but I had that one. I wish I would have had that. That's the Rebel Hunter. That thing's really cool. Clark just dismantled his build. Do you actually want to use these instructions? Yeah. Okay. That's good news. Look at this big good. grass. This isn't too bad of a build. This is a big grass. That is a big grass. Let me show these guys these steps here. So we've got one. Aww. Angelic music plays as Clark shows the bass plate. Steps one through five on this side, and then it goes to step 11. The crazy thing is, this has fewer steps than yesterday's build, which was this. This is a 66 piece build or something like that. This has fewer steps, just like I was telling you guys. These are a lot of pieces in each individual step. They don't hold your hand like they do today, and it can make it hard for a little dude like this who's trying to build. I was gonna say this is meant for a certain age, but doesn't have an age on there. It's meant for everybody. There it is, six to 10, a little bit under. There's some Blacktron in here. We've got Ice Planet. What's going on, bud? Uh, where is this piece goes here? All right, Clark Man is getting a little frustrated, so I'm gonna help him with that. I do wanna show you one last thing in this before we wrap this up. Let's look at the pirates, since this is a pirate video. You got the Skull's Eye Schooner, the Rock Island Refuge. I had, did I have any of these? I don't think I did. Sad. Here's the one we're building today. There's Cannon Cove. 
and here's some other stuff from the Pirates line. And now the book's folded and closed on me. There's Castle, but we gotta skip it. Clark Man wants to build this set. Let's go right back to the beginning here. Our pieces are rolling everywhere. We've got our first piece put on. They got the overhead shot here so you can tell where everything goes. Apparently there's a rope on a boat that's pulling the island away. Ha. Sounds like some type of crazy movie idea. I'm going to build mini fingers and be a villain. Yeah, how about you build the mini fingers and quit hooking my island, bro? I have a villain bow, so I'm going to stop you. <laughs> I'm sneaky, so I'm going to take your island. How about you don't take my island? That is not nice. Build the rest of the guys. I'm trying to put Clark Man onto mini finger detail as opposed to stealing my island. See if I can distract him long enough to get this set built. Can I do it? What is really going on over here, though? <laughs> oh boy. Is he wearing this hat? These are what the guys are supposed to look like. Yours are a little wicky wacky, but they can be whatever you want it to be, Clark Man. Those are here, Dad. Oh no. <laughs> what, two of those guys are good guys. I hate to break that to you. <laughs> we're villains because we're all bad. Don't forget that, bro. You're in jail, bro. Clark's pirate stories. Everyone ends up in jail. In that jail castle, right there behind you. <laughs> My rope is much longer to hook your pieces. You're not going to get this piece. I will if I need it. No, you won't. Because our boat can fly. Oh, jeez. Ha, ha, ha. I got your piece now. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, we're flipping over. I just finished step five, and this is what we've got so far. And the pirate's stealing the pieces. And the pirate's stealing the pieces. Thank you, Mr. Pirate. Making my life very, very difficult. Anytime. <laughs> you are the biggest villain I've ever met. No, the pirates are. I think the pirate is an extension of Clark Man villain. Clark is trying to fire the cannon. Ha <laughs> ha. Non-firing cannon from 1993. <laughs> this is 1989. You'd be shooting me in the eye with that probably. I'm pretty first I need a drink. Go and get a drink. I'll have this set done when you get back down here. Okay, I'll... Probably not. I'm gonna say that for video purposes so we can cut to the finished product here. I'm gonna go get some more in my cup. How's your drink? I'm not done yet. We're gonna reshoot that though. It's gonna look like when you come down the stairs and be like, oh, Clark man, perfect timing. It's all done. It's all gonna be fake though. Movie magic. Movie magic! Movie magic! Alright, come over here. And we'll go upstairs. Action! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Forgot something. We gotta make this look realistic. Grab your drink. Ready, action. Oh, Clark Man, you just got your drink. That's awesome. You looked really thirsty. Well, I just so happened to finish up Cannon Cove. And it's all done here. Isn't that amazing? Yeah! First time you've ever seen it. Oh, and speaking of cannons, can I see this really quick? There is something a little odd here. I showed you the non-firing cannon. This is just like the ones I had when I was a kid. But in the instructions, they show this cannon, which looks like a firing cannon, maybe. Maybe this mystery will never be solved, or maybe they just used these instructions showing the firing one, and they gave us United Statesers. Maybe they just gave us a non-firing one. But if you want to see how this works, this basically goes inside of here. The cannon kind of sticks out of there. And then you got your boat of mismatched pirates and all kinds of crazy stuff happening. We got all our accessories here. We also have this extra piece, which kind of concerned me. I looked in, there was only one of those in the set. So this is what it looks like. Oh, there goes our cannon. Clark Man's dying to play with this. But one last thing that I want to show you, there's a jail cell back here, which should make somebody pretty happy. And that opens and closes, there's a ladder. There's nothing much going on inside there, but you know, you can fill that up with the cannon, like I mentioned and just go crazy with it. So let's see what a four-year-old does with a 26-year-old uh -oh. Lego set. He breaks ah. it. He breaks it. He broke it. That is an easy fix, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's a very tight squeeze in that jail cell. This is a very crude jail cell compared to some of the ones that we've seen in Lego sets, especially like this one. This is like the Taj Mahal of jail sets. As you guys can see, this set's starting to get a little messed up, so I might be taking this apart soon just to preserve its integrity. But, there you go. He fixed it. Can we fit a guy in there though? That's the question. His hat don't go. Yeah, you can't have his hat in jail. They took his hat and they sold it to buy pirate booze. Someone's gonna put that in the comments. 
You're in jail, sir. You're in jail. How to win Clark over on a set these days. Have a jail. Uh. We might be getting into Lego City Police, apparently. I don't think I showed this. There's a flag up here. I love that flag. And here's what the rest of it looks like. You can put guys up on top there. In fact, I'm going to do that because Clark Man is slacking. I want to see all these guys on this thing. Look at this guy. He's really confused. As is this guy right here. These are the most confused pirate soldiers that you've ever seen in your life. Pretty cool, though. I was trying to show this off with the cannon. The cannon disappeared. Let's put it in here for one final shot. Can I say shot on YouTube? There you go. There is Cannon Cove. The boat's out here. There's a guy in prison. It's getting sailed away. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any insight on the whole cannon situation, let me know the story behind that because I'm still curious about this whole firing versus non-firing thing. These are the cannons that I had and unfortunately I've got another one. Help us, Dad, help us. And if anyone can send help, help for our pirates us. by leaving a like on this video, help us. it'll certainly help. help us. On that, thank you so much for watching, and as always, <laughs>